and welcome back to the Xfinity Sports Report, your Utah High School Connection. I'm your host, Lisa Bossman, and I am joined right now with the Lone Peak girls volleyball team. So welcome. Thanks. Uh, we're talking a little bit more about their season, the 5A champs from this year. So we're going to start with Maddie. Can you tell me, you guys are all transfers this year, right, from different schools. Yeah. So tell me where you're from and what's changed this year. So I moved here from Roosevelt, and I moved in with my grandparents' house because I can't live in my old house anymore. So we went to my grandparents' house, and I decided to go to Pleasant Grove to be with my friends. Okay. And uh, halfway through the school year, I decided that I wanted to go to Lone Peak to go to school with my sister. Okay. And so I transferred at the half, and then I just was at Lone Peak from there on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And what about you? Um, so I'm from Pleasant Grove also. So um, me and my family... We used to live in Alpine, and then we moved out of the country for a couple of years. And then we moved back, and we found a house in Pleasant Grove. And then we decided that we wanted to move back up to Alpine. So we moved back up to Alpine, and it's just in a different boundary. So I just transferred schools. Cool. OK. And what about you? Um, I transferred from Bingham, and this by far has been the best group of best team I've ever been on and best group of girls I've played with so it's been really special it's been a really special season yeah and you're a senior right yeah what would you say was your favorite memory this year with your new team my favorite memory by far was our very first practice um, our coach had taken us out to the track and he talked to us about just giving our very best effort um, so what we had to do was run just for 60 seconds as hard and fast as we could and he said like when we were done that wherever we finished that we we're gonna look around and look at all our teammates and wherever we were that we knew that everyone gave our hundred percent and our very best effort and I think that that set the tone and the standard for um, our work ethic this season and just that we were gonna give everything we had to get where we wanted to be okay that's great that's a great memory what about you, Jacqueline? Do you have any good ones? So at the beginning of the season, our coach came and he wrote this motto and it was called the Warriors Creed. And we read it before every single game. And it kind of like got me into like the right uh, mindset. And like I was, just, it kind of, it was like a pump up for me. And so I, it just set me to get ready for our game. And it, the Creed showed us um, and told us like, what, how much effort we put in and how much train we, training we've done that, um, that this game should show it. So, Great, I like that. What about you, Maddie? Do you have a certain thing that you really liked this season? Um, I just think the whole season building up and growing closer with the girls was probably the best part and like being able to go in and play our hardest. So. That's great. Yeah. So two juniors and one senior already all committed to a college, right? Mm -hmm. Tell me which college you're going to. I'm going to BYU. Okay, and are you, what are your thoughts and feelings about it? Um, I'm just really excited. My sister's going to BYU and we're gonna be able to go to college together and I'm really close to her so it's gonna be really fun. And Is she playing volleyball as well? No, oh, okay. she's not. And then just being able to play volleyball on a really good team and You'll be able to wear your sweats every day to school. Yes, right? every day. <laughs> <laughs> Not having to get ready. <laughs> no judgments. <laughs> and Jacqueline, what about you? Where are you going? I'm going to the University of Tennessee Chattanooga. <laughs> okay. And I'm super excited. <laughs> you wanna? You wanted to leave Utah? Um, you know, I when I was started uh, looking to colleges, I like, I didn't know exactly where I wanted to go for college. I didn't really have a preference if I went in state or out of state. Um, and as I, the like, recruiting process went on, I just, I, when I went to Tennessee, I fell in love with the city and the college and so decided to go there. Cool, I'm excited for you. And Gabby, what about you? Um, I'm signed to Utah State and I couldn't be more excited. Um, I'm really, really excited about the recruits that we have and that um, are there right now. Um, I have a really good relationship with the coaches there and the culture there really fits me. Um, like I said, like the girls who are there, we get along really well and we push each other and know that we're going to do really big things there and accomplish a lot. So I'm really excited. Good. I'm happy for you guys. Let's talk a little bit more about the season before I let you go because I'm excited to talk about this with you guys and I want to start with Gabby. So I want to talk about some of the playoff games and I'm going to talk about the Brighton game with you. So 
what were your thoughts on the Brighton game? I know you guys, was that the game that you came back from too? Yeah. Okay, so tell me about that. Um, I think the first two sets we were coasting a lot. We weren't playing our system of volleyball and I think that we were holding back a lot, just like I said, coasting. Um, in the third set, I feel like we got our mindset back on track that we knew that what we were capable of and that recognizing we were holding back and as soon as we changed that mindset and recognizing that it was now or never that this is that we didn't train all season for to give up right now that we we're gonna do whatever it took and just as soon as like we relaxed and got our confidence back that we prepared so hard and um, you know we knew what to do that we were able to come back and relax and take care of the job and get it get it done so. yeah. and you did came back um, speaking of the Brighton game I want to talk about your foot situation what happened was it already hurt before the Brighton game or did it get re-hurt in the Brighton game I want to talk about this okay so um, my foot started hurting maybe like two weeks before so we were having a little problem with my foot um, and so I was in a boot to rest while I wasn't playing and one of the one of the points on the Brighton game a girl set the ball a little too tight and the girl came under the net and so I rolled my ankle. It's just something I wanted to bring up because you continued to play all the way up to the championship game and played in the championship game, right? Yes. So did did you know what was wrong with it at the time? Um, no, we didn't know that what was wrong with it. We knew that I did sprain my ankle once that girl came under, but I kind of thought to myself I've worked too hard and that there's no way that this is stopping me from playing, so. <laughs> Great, well, all the way to the championship game, I wanna talk about that with you guys. I talked to your teammates earlier about their thoughts about it, but I wanna ask you guys, cause you were all there as well. So, on the final play, what was going through your mind? I just wanna get this done. <laughs> I'm done playing, I wanna go home. <laughs> <laughs> I was so tired. <laughs> how many how many games did you guys play that day? Uh, that was our second one, but we had a long time to break because it was like six, a long time, long time, long time. Okay. It was like, yeah, long time. What was your yeah. thoughts going into that game and when the game ended? Um, to be honest, going into it, I was like super excited because it, it's always like the state championship game, and you're, you know, it's it's always like. I have a lot of people there, you're, you're having a lot of people and it's loud and it's just high energy. And so once we got, like after the, once they got to like the fifth set and stuff, I was like, okay guys, this is it. We have to bring everything we got. And those last couple of points just were really amazing, I guess. <laughs> we just kind of like knew in, as a team that like, there's no way that we're going down without a fight. And, we, we gave it all we got, and once that last ball hit that ground on the last point, we all collapsed. <laughs> and for you, as your senior year, you transferred. You obviously transferred to the right school, right? Um, how did it feel to win the state championship for your last year? It was surreal. Like, you can't end a high school season better than that. With, and I think the coolest part about it was that even though, like, it, it was a battle through and through, like, back and forth, back and forth, and within a couple points every set. Um, but what was really cool is just that we, even though our, it wasn't our best game, like physically, but um, we focused on the things that we could control. We had come back from two other games that were all uh, games to five sets. Like that's extremely exhausting, but you know, like the things that we could control is our effort and our attitude, and that's the thing that made a big difference, I think. And just that we believed in what we could do, like we fell to the level of our training and um, played as a team. We played for each other, and we were just going to go do everything we could to, to get what we, what we earned. So Okay, and we talked a little bit earlier that you guys had a lot of goals coming into the season. What was the one that stuck out to you? Um, a goal that we always reinforced was that we were going to fall to the level of our training, that we were going to make practices harder than any game situation, and that um, we are just going to work so hard and just fight like as hard as we could. Um, and our goal is to make our average better than um, any other team's best. So when the championship game 
when we were all exhausted that we had trained so hard and that even though it wasn't our best game that our average was still enough to get the the job done great and did you have any personal goals or any team goals that you that stood out to you during the season um what i really thought of is like going in with like a hundred percent effort and a hundred percent focus to every single practice is we had a piece of paper that we had to fill out every practice and we have personal girls and I always wrote that down, 100% effort and 100% focus along with uh, another goal that I wanted to focus on. But I feel like with the, hundred, with the focus and the effort that um, it's really important to have when you're playing. Okay. So. What, was there anything that you would write down on your papers week to week? Uh, no. no. <laughs> okay, we'll skip that then. <laughs> She's like, I didn't write down my papers. I don't, I just change different every day. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on the show and talking to us about the season and juniors. We'll look for you guys next year and we wish you the best of luck in college. We're going to head to break, but when we come back, we have the 5A championship game, Bingham and Lone Peak, up next on XSR.